Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be testing uh, an amplifier that is uh, it's regrettably not for sale because <clears throat> it already got sold. Um, person, uh, I made an identical box to this um, about a month and a half ago and then I brought it to the uh, Hudson Valley uh, CB break that we had in early November. You might have seen the advertisements for it and uh, it sold right on the table uh, immediately. I didn't even get a chance to make a video of that. But this is the third <clears throat> uh, single 500Z that I've done in this small cabinet that you can get from ICA Manufacturing. Good folks down there. Charger does great work. Um, I usually don't make these 500Zs in this small case um, just because, you know, parts vary and uh, I, I need a bigger case to give myself more flexibility on parts. Um, but uh, I did get a run of transformers. I got a run of capacitors, and they're all the same. And so I was able to do three. Uh, the first one was last year. Uh, then I did one, like I said, a month and a half ago. And then I knocked this one together. So again, single 500Z, uh, 450 milliamp uh, continuous duty transformer. You've got um, this one is um, kind of a hot one. This one, I think, idles at around 3,800 volts. I think it goes down around 35 on transmit. Uh, we'll, we'll find out in a minute here. Um, but boy, she talks. I mean, this box is really getting up without a lot of drive. Um, so kind of cool. Um, you know, if you're a serious operator and you know how to not beat the balls off it, um, it has forced air cooling. Uh, it actually has a centrifugal blower on the other side. It's got a glass chimney. I don't know if you guys can see that in there. Blows up and around the tube. It's got an actual air socket. There you go. You can see the inside a little bit. This is a very nice build. This box really came out nice. Um, come on, can you focus? Anyway, again, very simple as usual. Uh, power switch, AM standby sideband. This is uh, my red-green transmit LED, which is just like my favorite radios. As you can tell, I have a favorite kind of radio. Uh, tune and load, fixed tuned input, plate current, plate voltage. On the back, can't be any simpler. I've got a, uh, well, this is kind of cool. I, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but uh, I 3D printed a custom fan grill for the back. It says 500Z. I don't know if you can see that. Um, sorry, it's a little dark in here, but pretty cool, right? 120 volts, ground connection if you deem you need it, circuit breaker, in and out, blah, 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 blah. Pretty simple. So let's just push this thing back in position here. Um, let's check the drive first. So we've got a 250 watt slug. Um, PEP is on. I'm shooting for 75 to 100 watts of drive. I'm just putting the tripod in, guys, because I don't want to hold the camera anymore. Give me one second here. This makes it a little easier for me to shoot. Okay, and... Let's give this thing a rotate, and there we go. Matter of fact, let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. That's, that's better. Now we can see watt meters and voltage meters and all that kind of stuff. Okay. All right, so we're going to uh, check our drive first. So we're looking for... Uh, a 15 to 25 watt carrier, somewhere in that neighborhood. You can do more, you can do less. It is up to you. I don't care. Um, since I seem to be confusing people with the tone generator, we're gonna go to a regular microphone, so you'll be hearing me talk during the video um, to test the amplifier. So we've got a single final radio. I've got a little tiny two pill. And uh, again, 250 watt slug. Let's just zoom in on that. We've got a... 15 watt carrier. Audio. Audio. So that's 100 watts PEP. Okay? That's 100 watts PEP drive. Now let's just swap the slug. We are putting in a 2500 watt slug. We're still in PEP. Okay, that's a 2,500 watt slug. So we're looking at the top scale. 
soft start, like 37, 3800 volts. Let's put it into AM. Okay, box has already been tuned and loaded, I think. So, 275 watt carrier. Audio. Oh, ba 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 Audio. So we're seeing just under 1500 watts, 1500 watts ish with a 100 watts PEP drive. Let's take a look at the plate voltage and plate current. Going down to 3500. Audio, about 300 mils. Audio. This box, she be talking. Let's zoom in on that watt meter. Come on. Audio. Audio. And that's only with. 100 watts drive. I mean, you you know, now again, I'm going to be clear when I say this. You should not run this box at 1500 watts. You should not run this box at 1500 watts. You should run this box at 1000 watts or 1100 watts in that neighborhood. You should not be at 1500. That being said, it'll gladly do it. Okay. Um, Audio. Audio. Bump, 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 bump. Audio. Ta, 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 ta. There's nothing wrong. This box runs and it likes it. Um, really cool things, like I said, is the forced air cooling. Um, I'm going to shut the driver off because all the noise you hear is the, the two pill running. Let me. Can you hear how quiet that amplifier is? It's just a little in the background, a little whisper. get better than that folks desktop package nice and small fits anywhere no high voltage outside of the box get yourself your thousand watts all right guys thanks for watching